Hi, this is Jason with Best Practical, and today I'd like to introduce you to our new change management extension for RT. Sometimes your organization might need to support a formalized change process due to audit or other compliance requirements, and with this extension, you can administer your change management process directly in RT. Let's take a look. In your typical workflow, change requests will be made by creating a ticket in the new change management queue. Let's make a request for a sample user in our organization. The user fills in as much information as they reasonably can before submitting the ticket. That includes the category of change and the type of change. Now, let's look at the review process. You'll see our new request has shown up for the review team. Let's take a look at our new request. Notice the change management box on the ticket display. This keeps all of your specialized change management information conveniently grouped together. This change, for example, might be something that a review team can't or won't address, so we'll reject the change. When a change is re rejected, you'll need to provide a reason as to why. Let's go back to our dashboard and look at another pending request. In order to approve request, we need to make sure that we have all of the change management information filled out. And this includes an implementer and a rollback plan. In this case, there is no rollback plan needed. So we may go ahead and approve the request. When approving a request, you don't always need to provide justification as to why, but in this case, we're going to. Now let's look at the implementation. On the implementation side, you'll see that we have several issues that have been approved and are ready to start. Let's take our latest. You'll notice that we have several actions available to us, including start deployment and deployment canceled. If you cancel a deployment, you're, provide, you're required to provide justification as to why. Let's go back to our dashboard and take another ticket. When we start deployment, you'll notice that the change started date automatically fills in for us. We do work on our issue, and then we can say that this issue is partially deployed, the deployment has failed, or like before, our deployment is canceled. Partially deployed means that we are able to at least complete some of the steps of deployment, but we might temporarily have a blocker or some other situation may have occurred that prevented us from completing the entire change. Deployment failed would indicate that we ran into an issue and we were not able to complete this change, or we're able to mark deployment complete. When deployment is complete, you're not required to add a comment to the ticket, but you may choose to do so if you feel it is necessary. You'll also notice that the change completed date has also been filled in for us. You may also build your own specialized change management dashboards, and we've even provided you a sample dashboard to get you started. And that is all you need to get up and running with the basics of change management in RT. You can combine and customize change management with other RT extensions and features such as the mandatory and transition extension, the calendar extension, and the approvals queue to build an even more extensive and formalized change management process for your organization. We hope you enjoy this new extension. Thank you for listening. <laughs>